Okay, we are back in the parking lot today because of a video that we just done recently. It was about emergency braking. And in that video, I mentioned about setting up things. The cake says, what if you don't have cones to set it up? And I mentioned that I can show you how to set it up with cones. So I want to thank Walt and PA for asking me to do the video on how you set up emergency braking with no cones when you just ride into the parking lot. I'm going to show you two different ways you do it. And it's based on the parking spaces. So today, since I'm sitting in the parking lot, one way I could do it with no cones is use my gloves. Even though these are my riding gloves, I always have a second set on it. So what you normally would do is, because we know each parking space is nine feet. Two parking spaces together is 18 feet. So what I want to do is just drop my cone, drop my gloves at my starting point. Now remember when riding, you don't want to look at this. You just want to see it with your peripheral vision. So now I go to the next spot, which is 18 feet. And I just take maybe a giant step and drop my next, which will give me 20 feet. And of course in the parking lot, you want to go about 20 miles an hour, maybe 25 at the most. The minute I hit this spot, I should be braking. Remember, squeeze the brake, the front and rear brake at the same time, just emergency braking, and I should not pass that second cone. Then I could turn around, or the second glove. Then I could turn around and do it the opposite way. I'm gonna show you, right now I'll show you the second way that we do this. If you're just riding through a parking lot and don't wanna stop, don't wanna take anything off your bike, you can use debris or anything in the parking lot, which I'm not gonna to use today. Today is kind of a windy day. So the second way is, 90% of the parking lots throughout the United States from this position all the way to the line when you pull your car or cycle in to this line is 18 feet. So now you have 36 feet to work with. So with this, you do the exact same thing. Just use this as a reference. So as I'm riding in, instead of dropping anything down, I will start my braking right here. And I should not pass that line going over there. So you can you just ride in, you start your braking, and you should not go past that line, and that'll give you 20 to 24 feet. Now you gotta know the parking lots in your area. I just know every time I go to a parking lot and I measured it, this is normally 18 feet. Sometimes it'd be 20, 25 feet. If it's 25 feet, even better. And then you can do it the opposite way. You can come right in this direction. The minute your tire hit that line, you should be braking and not crossing here for your emergency braking. Now for swerving, it's the exact same thing. For swerving, you don't need to put anything down. You just use the parking space in the middle. When you ride in the middle of the space, then you brake, release, and go around and come back into the parking space to go on your direction of travel. So get out there and practice. You can get out there and practice with no cones. When Cake and I go on rides, we do this in less than five minutes. We'll practice our emergency braking. Sometimes we do the parking space weave. If you haven't seen the parking space weave video, I'll plug it up right here. Go check that video out. No cones needed and it's a fun, fun exercise. So we're going to do the emergency braking two ways. We're going to do it right now. As soon as I get geared up and get on the Big Easy over there, because, you know, all the gear all the time, even in parking lot practice. Second gear, come to here, brake. I should not pass that glove. On that time, I did pass it. I'm checking my mirrors to make sure it's clear before I move on, just in case somebody else needs to brake. I'm just kind of showing you this, how to do it right here. Squeeze, release. I don't think I made it up to 20 miles an hour, but you guys get the drift. I'm gonna do it the opposite way. I'm gonna do it the opposite way to show you how to use it if you don't want to stop and don't want to do anything. So you come in here, like I said, it's an 18 foot. I will stop right here. I don't think I made it up to 20 miles an hour on that either, but you get the picture. Okay, can I do it all the time? Do it one more time. See, could I get up to a second gear? And see, could I get up to second gear in 21 miles an hour? Here I go. Second, 20 miles an hour. Emergency break. Look at my mirror, make sure it's clear. And I'm all set. So this is Walt MPA. Make sure you check out his YouTube channel. He have a great Wednesday thing that's going on. So go on and practice your braking. Do some parking lot practice before your next ride. And from here, I'm going to do some parking space weaves. 
So if you like it, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We definitely appreciate it. From Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. And if y'all riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. I'm out. Peace.